um, Ace is in a place, and I am very geeked, excited, mm -hmm. amped to be like, there's a special guest as well, Stella McGee. She is the director and writer of this beautiful film that is coming out <laughs> really, really soon. It's called The Photograph. If you haven't seen the trailer, I need you to stop doing whatever you're doing right now and go and watch it because it's so beautiful. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I watched it last night. And, like, I'm just so geeked about it. Like, Aww, really am. You. I can't wait to go and watch it again. I'm going to watch it, like, a billion <laughs> times. Um, but that's not one of that's one of the reasons why I'm geeked. But I'm also really geeked because you're from here. You're from yes, Toronto. Yes, this is hometown. What part of the city did you grow up in? I was born in North York, and I grew up in Oshawa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the schwa. The schwa. <laughs> the dirty schwa, east side. Oh, my gosh. Well, we'll claim the North York part, okay? <laughs> Oshawa kind of sketched to us. <laughs> but welcome back. Do you live here anymore? Or uh, no? no, I live in L.A. now. Okay. Yeah. She left us for good weather. Oh. Sorry you had to come back to this. I know. It wasn't a warm welcome. No, not but at all. I'll see all. my family tonight, so that's cool. That's all that matters, yeah. right? Family's always holding yeah. you down. Um, okay, so like I said, the photograph, it's going to be in theaters um, probably by the time this plays. Mm -hmm. And it stars Issa Rae, Lakeith Stanfield, Shantae Adams, Yolan Noel. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Yolan. 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 Yeah, Yolan. <laughs> I always see it. I'm just like, let me just not. But you know who he is. You know he is. starred in some yeah. good movies. And he's fine too. So he is. He is. you definitely do. Um, so like I said, I saw it last night. And um, it really resonated with me because I feel like we haven't seen a movie like this in a minute mm -hmm. since like Love and Basketball which I watched the other day yeah. too um I Love Jones I haven't seen it surprisingly what I'm lacking lacking slacking I, I, I don't get it Please. I don't know bless yourself because I love love movies yes it's one of the best so I seen your trailer a couple months ago I think it was like in November and I think all of my timeline saw it at the same time because we all started tweeting like what like we gotta wait until valentine's right. day like we don't even care about valentine's day right. we just want to see this movie so let's talk about it the photograph why did you decide to do something featuring black love i mean i wanted to write about me and my family and my mm -hmm. friends so you know you write from your own perspective mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so do you feel like this I personally, the one line where um, it's it's from the beginning, and once I heard that line, I was like, oh, this is going to be like my movie, <laughs> where um, Shantae Adams, her character Christina, Christina said, um, I wish I was as good at love right. as I am at working, yeah. and I was just like, I Ooh. feel like to the film. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Do you feel like that's something that you struggle with in um, your career, in your life? Yeah, sure. I mean, you work really hard to be successful, and mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you put more energy into that than your personal life, mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, sometimes it can be a choice. Yes. I feel like it's really representative of the times right now, because mm -hmm. us as, like, black women who are chasing after the success, yeah. like, I feel like we don't always are able to find that balance, right? right? right. And we do want to be more than... Like, our biggest accomplishment, we do want it to be more than just going home and cooking our right. husband. <laughs> Dinner. Dinner. Yeah. Um, man, it, yeah, it can be hard to strike that balance, but especially, you know, you need to know who you are first before you can really be with someone. So it's like, you know, mm -hmm. you put all that energy into kind of getting your career together, getting your life together, and then you look up. <laughs> You're like, dang. Yeah. Where did time go? <laughs> That's me. I just entered my 30s, and I'm okay. kind of like... <laughs> I ain't got a man yet. I ain't got no baby yet. Oh, okay, we just gonna keep right, pushing until right. this thing actually happens. Yeah. Uh, do you think that balance exists? Um, I mean, I haven't found it yet, so I can't, <laughs> working you on know, it, personally on it. talk about it. But you know, some people find it. Yeah. <laughs> Have yeah. you ever encountered any anybody on like set that you think? really models like that balance where they are very successful they do have like a happy home uh -huh. kids and stuff like that have you met anybody yet yeah i mean there's a lot of women directors that are doing it you know and mm -hmm. you know 
you look at someone like Issa and how she values her friends and, you know, she finds the time and you just got to find the time, mm -hmm. you know, it, because you do benefit from the balance. Yeah. Yeah. And what they say, like, you find time for what you really want, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I think that that's something that we all need to, like, yeah. figure out. Uh -huh. Like, it's cool to work and stuff like that, but <laughs> we're allowed to enjoy our lives, too. Right. Like, that's why we right. work so we're hard, hard so we can hard. live. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, so creating this movie... Um, when you were when it was time to cast, how did that casting process go? Like, did you already instantly know who you wanted to cast for this, or did it take um, some time? No, this was one of the few movies that, like, when I was writing it, I didn't think about the actors at mm -hmm. all. And so when it kind of was picking up steam, like it was going to get made, I had just worked with Issa on Insecure, and we just really clicked, you know. Mm -hmm. And she's just very talented. Uh, and so I started really thinking about her for May and how people wouldn't really expect her in this role. Mm -hmm. And so she clicked with the character and agreed to come on. And then, you know, I was kind of just put together all my favorite actors, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, Shantae and Alan and Rel and Courtney B. Vance and Kelvin Harrison, like just all these kind of established and up-and-comers that I really admired. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Rob Morgan is like one of the best um, who's having like a great few years. And, you know, I just went out to them, and I got really lucky. And then Lakeith was, like, the last piece, you know. Wow. We just couldn't figure out who Michael was going to be. Mm -hmm. And then when I spoke to him, we Skyped, and I was just like, oh, it's him. You're, you're yeah. it. You yeah. are Michael. Yeah. I think I think it was beautiful cast. I like everybody who who is in their position. I, it just worked well, very well for me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also liked... You bring it to New Orleans. Right. I don't know why. Like I've never been to New Orleans, <laughs> but you I feel go. like it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and you make it like look really beautiful um, in it as well. So why that city of all? I mean, I wanted there to be a bit of a migration story in mm -hmm. this movie. You know, like my family's from Jamaica. They came here, mm -hmm. you know, and New York, and so that idea of like moving to a new place mm -hmm. to kind of get a new life is is part of my experience and you know because I wanted to set most of the story in New York you know I thought New Orleans Louisiana would be just a good kind of counterbalance to mm -hmm. like a whole different you know energy yeah yeah and it's definitely a different lifestyle when I think about it uh, I think very country southern um a lot of the wives are just like housewives taking yeah. care of their kids so to, to see her like go and chase after her dreams yeah. like it's so beautiful mm -hmm. to me um, so what's one of your most favorite characters in the movie? One of my most, my mo um, I guess one of the supporting characters that I think adds like just a fun pop is Calvin Harrison Jr. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's so, he's such a star in the making, uh, but he, he just adds this, you know, he plays with the intern next to Lakeith and he's yeah. just he just adds this little bit of humor that you're not expecting, and yeah. he's just so innocent. And like, <laughs> it's fun to see him in this because all his other movies, like Loose and Waves, yeah. he, you know, it comes at night. They're all so serious, and he's kind of like weird in all of them. Yeah. So it's 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 sweet to see him kind of just like try to mac on Jasmine. Yeah. Cephas Jones' character that's a few years older than him. Yeah. yeah. It was so cute when he was sitting at the bar, and he was like 25 <laughs> in a few months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, okay. No, he was definitely cute and yeah. even when he went to like hug um michael's character yeah when he was leaving, like there was just so many yeah. little cute he's things. very good at just like these little subtleties that make you smile and laugh yes mm -hmm. oh my gosh so which character do you feel like you relate to the most relate to the most um i mean i guess it's it's somewhere between may and you know uh yeah, I probably may, but mm -hmm. it's, she's she's a version. Yeah, you know, a version of me, uh, probably more serious than I am. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of feel like I relate to Michael. Really, like, being the one <laughs> to like leave and stuff yeah, like that. That's I'm the true. type to just move and that's be like, true. bye. That's true. Yeah, I kind of based some of his life on mine. Yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like a mix. Yeah, got you, got mm -hmm. you. Um, so it comes out Valentine's Day. After you have a crazy mega weekend, uh -huh. because I'm claiming it. Thank you. How are you going to celebrate? I don't know. I need to go to Jamaica or something. Yay. I just lay out. Yeah. <laughs> That's your favorite spot to be in Jamaica? Yeah, absolutely. Because it's home? Yeah, Port Antonio. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I love that. So if you could describe uh, black love in three words, what would you use that as? Um, hmm, black love, 
uh, in three words specifically. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, hmm. It's hard. How do you describe black love? I don't know. It's beautiful. It's strong. Enchanting. It's uh, elusive. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Black love is everything. Like, yeah. I can't wait. It's like, I'm a little husband, a little baby running around. And we right. Picture perfect. That's the goal, because you know that none of this goal. is really picture perfect. Right. I actually want to um, speak about the love story with the mom and um, the father. So, uh, Shantae Adams' character, Christine, uh, right? Yeah. Christine or Christine? Yeah, Christine. Christina. Um, can we get a full movie on that? Like, I feel right. like there's so much. I know, you could live in the past for real. I like, was like, oh my gosh, how did she meet, like, the the father? Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. It, I, when I was shooting it, I mean, it mm -hmm. was fun to shoot the past stuff, especially when we're in Louisiana. And yeah. Shantae and Alon have just, like, this great chemistry. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you love Shantae in it playing Christina. She's so, she's so breakout in it. So yeah. it's like... You know, you always want to stay with them a little bit longer. Like, you could, there could be another hour to the movie. For real. Yeah. Like, I was just like, ooh, what happened next? <laughs> ooh. Like, so you could definitely make a whole new yeah. movie. I'm just saying, yeah. if you want to throw it out there, if you want to do it, I'd be mm, there. Think about opening that. weekend. <laughs> Will Packard, <laughs> holla. <laughs> um, in your career, what I think is beautiful about your career is that you weren't originally. I guess you didn't really have aspirations of doing this. You kind of, like, mm -hmm. decided. You yeah. had a PR career in yeah. New York. Yeah. Um, what made you decide to switch up? I wasn't good at PR. Don't <laughs> <laughs> say um, No, I wasn't. Like, I was going to get fired. Oh I did gosh. get fired. I have gotten fired. Yeah. Um, from Pantene Pro V PR. Oh, wow. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I always wanted to write, you mm -hmm. know, and... So I think at a certain point, I just realized, you know, if you're going to do this, you should just do this now. Yeah. Uh, and ended up going back to school for screenwriting. Mm -hmm. um, and then eventually realized that I needed to direct. Yeah. That's amazing. And mm -hmm. you've done, like, some really dope movies. Everything is everything. Yeah. Like, that was such a cute little movie. Oh, I know. The and teen then you crowd. Had, yeah. The teen crowd. I'm growing. And I'm still like, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> plus, yo, plus some women. Yeah. <laughs> and then The weekend. Yeah. Um, so what do you want next for you? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm always going to just explore kind of the black, you know, black mm -hmm. women life, mm -hmm. life and, uh, you know, whether it's comedy or drama or, uh, or romance, I'm always going to try to put another kind of black woman forward on the screen. Yes, yeah. I love that, especially because... We're the ish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You love to Our see it. Our stories need to be told <laughs> in more ways than just Tyler Perry. Yeah. Love Tyler Perry. In more ways than just Tyler Perry. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we need we need all the stories. Yes. Yeah. What what kind of um impact or legacy do you want this film, the photograph, to leave? I mean, you know, I really never think that deeply, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, I'm my always, gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> just kind of go with it. <laughs> yeah, I just, like, try to put my heart into a thing and try mm -hmm. to, like, execute a vision that I have for it. And, you know, it's really up to mm -hmm. the audience to decide where it's going to fit, you mm -hmm. know, in the history of things. Okay, I want to ask one fun question. Uh -huh. What's the worst date you've ever been on? The worst date I've ever been on? Mm -hmm. I was at a bar with a date and he ordered me a drink while I was in the bathroom and then he told me that a girl had accused him of spiking his dr drink and um, yeah I didn't finish the drink uh, yeah no I wouldn't eat that I'd be yeah, like, I, I didn't uh, finish the drink I had a little water and I went home pretty yeah quick. I was gonna be like you know the time's getting late I gotta go and uh, feed my cat yeah. wash my hair yeah that it was yeah. Great. yeah it was cut short it's horrible yeah. well um Happy nothing happened to you, and you were smart not to be safe. Drinking. Yes. See when they're ordering your drink. Yes, yes. Don't. No, no, no. Yeah. We're not going through that. Yeah. Um, one last thing, because uh -huh. it just came up in my mind. Mm -hmm. When Issa's character went, May went and bought that ticket for Kendrick Lamar, uh -huh. and then popped up in London. Well, you just gave spoiler. me an idea. 
<laughs> By the time they, this part's for me. <laughs> this part's for me. Um, when she popped up in London, I was like, yo, because I'm always in like long distance yeah, relationships. Yeah. I'm like, I'm about to steal that. Like, yeah. I'm about to steal Pop that. Up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no worries. That will be just for okay. me. Okay. <laughs> this ain't live either. This is for No, I know. Live. Yeah. <laughs> we good. We good. We good. We good. Um, but yeah, honestly, I think this is a movie that everybody needs to go see. I think everybody can go and see yeah. it, whether you're with like your family, yeah. your boo, like your friends, everybody by yourself, Anything. everybody multiple yeah. times, yeah, the whole weekend, Please, the whole and weekend, beyond. and the next weekend. <laughs> um, congratulations! Thank you. Any last remarks you want to make? To no. your city. Yeah, I mean, thank you for having me. Proud to represent Toronto. Yes, yeah. and we need to go and show out and show love to our own. Yes. Because we don't always get this, mm -hmm. so... And you might not get you. it again, so go. Stop. This is like <laughs> one movie. Like, you are on a rise, okay, girl? You gonna keep putting out movies that might even be bigger than this, yeah. okay? This yeah, is only the beginning. You. Thank well, you. thank you so much for popping by. I appreciate right. you.